And now even if you have a hollow hand, you son of a bitch, it doesn't matter. We go face! Forward! Uh, get rid of both of these, they're too expensive, but Observer of Myths has the potential to be really good, and it could help snowball the, uh, foul eggs, possibly. Okay, they're just gonna have to hope they don't have Hollow Hunt on 6, because if they do, we lose the game anyway. Awaken? We do get Awaken, which is nice. I do like that a lot, actually. Two yelling yodelers, though, is not great. <laughs> Two yelling yodelers is, um... Not great. And I think we play this next turn. Actually, you know what? Maybe we go Observer of Myths next turn. Because it'll be pumped up to a 3-4 next turn anyway. We might as well. Trade, play this. They probably don't have an immediate response. And then we do this. Yeah, I like that. It, it gives away less hand information too. Because they don't know what my one mana spell is. I guess they can assume, but they don't know. I probably play a um, barrel of monkeys. Astalor? Okay, hold on. I can kill that relatively easily. Give me a foul egg. The Kraken? Boom, boom. I'll kill this off. They coin out Hollow Hound in two turns. Can I kill them in two turns? Is the question of the day. The answer is probably not. The answer is probably not, but it's possible. Hit my face, please. Please hit my face! Okay, you should have not hit that, but whatever, it's fine. What a Eat it. You're probably wondering why. Give me a moment. It'll make sense in a second. Oh, good God. What a disaster, dude. I'm not gonna have nearly enough damage. I might have enough damage. Ricochet shot? Come on, man. What the hell? Why ricochet shot? Who do you think you are? Hmm? Trigger the death rattle twice. Get two of them. This goes here. Summons a 2-1, which pumps everything up. And then we get to summon you, which pumps everything up. And now even if you have a hollow hand, you son of a bitch, it doesn't matter. We go face! Forward! Oh my god! We're actually very strong, and we have enough HP on most of these minions where so they don't die to a hollow hound. You ignore- No. No, 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 no. No. No, you're kidding. No, you're kidding. No, no, no way, dude! How the fuck? What? Are you kidding me? It's fine. It's fine. It's honestly fine. Summon a minion, whatever. Um, summon a taunt minion on the side to try to protect my stuff a little bit. Uh, we'll we'll kill this off and go face. We'll try to protect this as much as possible so we can get an extra activation out of it. Oh, why? Honestly, I'm not even that upset because at least they're running something unique and cool. I'm not even too mad about it, but I'm... Ah! Barrel of fucking monkeys. I'll show you barrel of monkeys, you monkey. Uh... Do I want to go for a card draw? I feel like card draw is probably best. I can't even use Crooked Cook. Because I do kind of need the card draw here. In Asharon's name. In Asharon's what do you give me? Get another 3-3, three, three, which is nice. A Spirit Poacher. I'm gonna do this though, so that way when he does cleave, he can't cleave this at the same time. And then this four goes here. We'll play a banana on you. So that way it can go here and not die. It does kind of mess this up though, but it's fine. Crooked Cook, just to get it out there. Also, we'll put it here so that way the cleave doesn't hit both of the taunt minions. And then we will hero power. Look, our board is... Friggin' amazing, man! 
I can't believe they wiped my board like that twice. These these high legend players are built different. Hey, Lauren, how's it going? Hey, Perry, how's it going? That was a sick play. Your opponent playing the perfect counter to you. It's like a one in twenty chance. First of all, they needed to have star power and urchin spines in their hand, along with the ricochet shot on turn two. Not to mention the fact that they had to have bright wings, so that way star power would have the one extra hit. Wait, what did they just do? Tracking? Uh. Well, oh, they're still gonna give up! Oh my god, yes! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I won that. That was crazy. Uh, Wild Spirits is fine, turn three. I'm okay with it. It's a pretty good option, just in general. I'm not a huge fan of Crooked Cook on turn two, because I think it's relatively easy for them to kill. Because they control. Interesting. I think I want to play a 4 1 next turn. Uh, never mind, GG. Well, it's not GG, but uh, the 4 1 is screwed. We'll play it next turn. We'll play two of them next turn. And then we'll trade into the 1 3 and hope it's enough. This isn't bad. Could be worse. And then they're gonna heal up, but I don't care about that. Oh, they're not gonna heal. We're actually still not gonna wild spirits though, because we wanna get the immediate pump off of this twice. Wild spirits seems decent, I know, but this is, I think, better, and then that way we can set up Crooked Cook to draw cards, or. No, yeah, we can play Crooked Cook, and then we can just play the, uh, the Bristle Maw, or whatever it's called. What is it called? Jormungar? What the f- what- what- what even is that? Huh? No, they kill it. It's okay, we still have the Crooked Cook, which is fine. We're still able to draw a card, which is basically when, what, that, what we wanted to do anyway. Um, or alternatively, boom into boom. If they do want to wipe this board, it's going to deal, or it's going to be quite annoying for them to do it. Because now one of them has a death rattle, which isn't like a big, big deal, but it is something. It's relevant, for sure. What's the meta like? I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the meta right now, personally. I know I know it's it's subject to change. A lot of things are going to gonna be different and go better. But like, Hollow Hound, same deck as before, very strong. Mech Rogue, not interactive, wins games in like two turns. Um, Secret Hunter, very aggressive. Thaddeus Warlock, also extremely aggressive. Like, it is absurd how good it is. Uh, we'll see what we get off of this first. Actually, because if it ends up giving me the stag, I feel like it's actually bad. Because it messes up him. But I think we still do this. We do end up getting the stag, which is a little bit unfortunate, but we can play Wild Spirits next turn again. As well as maybe something else like this and just go nuts. I mean, what? Clean the scene, coin they could coin Desonate Pop if it's uh if it's in its upgraded form, it will also kill the crooked cook. Clean the scene leaves two things alive, which is fine. We just go wild spirits and we keep putting stuff on the board. That way we get the minion immediately, and then we can play you. Another stag? Well, I guess we can always play him for some burst damage they might not expect for extra for two extra damage or something. What do I want to play next? I think I want to Yodler the 0-2. But also, like, this deck's not bad. Relic Demon Hunter's very good. Mech Paladin's very good. Thaddeus Warlock. It's just a lot of aggro and a lot of the same decks. Oh, yikes. That's pretty gross. That was really good for them. Summon two four fours though seems nice to me. And then we'll eat the egg and put it in the Kraken. Actually, do I even have the space for that? One, two. If I eat it, no, yeah, if I eat it, there's still space. No, I don't think I play the Kraken, actually. I think I just hear a power hit. Because now if they do play Whirlpool with the coin, I do end up with a 4-4. Four four, whereas if they played Whirlpool and I had the Kraken out, I wouldn't end up with a 4-4. Four four. So I think I... Uh, I don't have lethal yet, if they have... 
Uh, okay, they can remove two four fours from the game, but I think I still have lethal. You have to make the yodel sound effect. <laughs> no, I don't have to make a yodel sound effect when I play the yodeler. I think we play this, make it five attack and immune so we don't actually have to hit into this. Do I have lethal? Yeah, I, I just have lethal. Also, Astalor to kill that off would have been perfect as well. I like the yelling yodeler. I like it a lot. We're basically just gonna have to hope to find a foul egg on turn two or three, or the Nerubian egg on turn two or three, or at the very least a batty guest, although that is way worse. Found a trinket tracker. Boom. Pass. Probably this into bananas next turn, and then we'll play wild spirits. And then we'll, I guess, maybe skip on Yodeler. Maybe we can play Yodeler a little bit later. Boom! And then a banana. We get another bunch of bananas. Hit. I think Wild Spirits is still best. And then turn four will probably be this plus some bananas or whatever. Favorite Titan so far? Um, my favorite Titan... That's a good question. I feel like Paladins was surprisingly decent. I liked Paladins. In theory, I like Druids as well, kind of. We're just gonna play Tempo here and go face. Give me a 3-1. We do get a 3-1. Hopefully it doesn't immediately die. I actually like Demon Hunters, which is weird because I don't like Demon Hunter that much, but I think it's really cool and interesting and complements Demon Hunter pretty well. I really like Death Knights because it feels like it fits or it can fit all three different archetypes. Like you can play in anything because it has pretty flexible conditions or pretty flexible abilities. I like that. I would have, oh, what do you mean? 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 I can't activate. You have to be sniping me. You have to be sniping. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. I can't even actually draw a card off of this, which is so cringe. Boom, boom, we'll do a little bit of damage, it's fine. You play Solid Alibi on this turn to dodge two damage? Why would you do that unless you knew I had Crooked Cook? No, they're not sniping. Obviously, I'm exaggerating. Oh. Um, but you live. That's really good. We actually get a lot of damage to stick. We do lose the Yodeler's ability, though. Which is problematic. I would rather just guarantee draw a bunch of cards here. <laughs> so let's just slam them, I guess, and we'll draw a card and try to finish them off in a turn or two. We got another Crooked Cook, which is fine. We have another weapon, so as long as they don't play too many taunt minions, we can just kind of run at them. They have a couple more turns before they can gain taunt minions, and our minions are pretty decently sized on the board right now, so I think we should be fine. Dratoon with the random legendary and rewards. Dude, dude, Demon Hunter was so strong. I don't know if you guys saw my post, but I hit- No! <laughs> They're gonna do cold case. Wait, what? Are they gonna do the deal too? Reverberations. Interesting, actually. Okay. Very interesting. So we have two weapon generators, which I'm not thrilled about. I hate it. I hate doing this, but I think it has to be the way. We lose this weapon and we make a 5-3 weapon instead. And then we'll leave that up because we don't care. This goes face, and then... We were close to winning, but we have to kill off both of these. They can't really gain armor anymore, which is fine, but that sucked. I don't care about a 6-6. We have a lot of damage. We can hero power and try to finish him off that way as well. Like, even if he kills the 3-7 at this point, I don't care, because we already got the weapon to have plus 2 damage. I'm not- Fucking why, man? Oh my god, so many reverber- Oh! Oh my god, wait, really? Wait, that's so good! Wait, that's incredible, even. Oh man, we have like one more turn to try to win this game. I don't care about that 3-7 though, right? We're close. We're close to getting that dub. We're close. Didn't really want a foul egg there. Double reverberations to kill my two big minions though. Can't even be too upset about it. That was, they played well. They got the Unleashed Fell as well. 
The problem is I don't know if they have what it takes to build up a wall and heal up enough. Because they can build a wall with that, but like... Unless they get all taunts, I can kill one of them with my weapon and then go face, right? Like, it's not that big of a deal to me. 515, Ikor didn't even realize. Road to rank 1. The road to- WHAT?! Oh, wait. You still can't attack? But you don't even have a weapon! Wait, that's so sad. But also, no. It starts uh, tomorrow. We're gonna be playing this in Big Shaman today, and then tomorrow we'll, we'll start for that. I'm down for this tempo. I'm down. I like Spirit Poacher. Baddie Guest on one. I guess we don't need a second Baddie Guest if we already have one. So you can try to go for a slightly more impactful card here. What decks are the top three? Top three decks, in my opinion, from what I have seen, ha are gonna have to be... I mean, it's hard to choose top three, at least, especially this early on. I can give you guys, um... I can give you guys, uh, uh, like a top five-ish list. I think I can do that a little bit more confidently. I really like Thaddeus Warlock, I think is insane. Secret Hunter, I think is insane. Relic Demon Hunter, I think is insane. Mech Rogue, I think is insane. <laughs> um, and what else? Trying to think of the other cards that I think are really, really good. Um, we're gonna use the Bananas first, by the way and make this go up to four so it doesn't die to like a three damage thing and go face. The reason we're not hero powering is because we want to develop as much board as possible. But I would say those are up there. I would say Sif Mage is close, Treant Druid is close, but I haven't played against enough of those to like really know. I don't know 100% what I would choose over those, but I, I can, I'm probably gonna come out with a tier list soon of the best decks and those are definitely gonna be on there. So, yes, please, and then just go face, because I don't really care about getting run down. I'm going to force them to trade into me. They only have four mana. They can't even play, like, star power or anything yet, and one of my minions has a death rattle, and we have bananas to pump up. Like, I'm fine with that. We just keep running at them. I'm going to win this race 100% of the time. What do you think about warrior in this expansion? I think warrior is mediocre. Hit my egg! No! <laughs> you piece of garbage! It's fine, we do a lot of damage here. We summon a minion. Wait. Wait, this is just nuts. This pumps up everything an insane amount. So we go boom, and then we summon this minion to destroy this, which is a two which pumps everything, and then it summons a three, which pumps everything again, and we literally win the game, like, next turn. I don't really care about these. Again, star power doesn't do anything. Yeah, we just win the game turn five. Wait, this actually snowballs so fast. What? Get rid of Crooked Cook. Get rid of Astalor, it's too slow. The other cards can stay. This card, this card, very good synergy together. Uh, the only way I change this up is if I draw the Yodeler, not another Priest, dude. I feel like so many decks, when you get to high legend, are literally built to beat these like board-based or aggro decks. Played against multiple mages with tons of like, oh, we got the Yodeler, shit. Well, okay, never mind. we're changing our strategy a little bit. We're changing it. We're changing our strategy a little bit. It's fine. We play this turn two. We coin this out turn three. It's pretty insane. And we just have to hope that they don't have Love Everlasting turn three into Destinate Pop turn four on the six uh, damage variant. As, uh, they have a 40 card deck. They have a 40 card deck. The, the odds of them having the Love Everlasting into Destinate Pop and it being in the uh, position that it needs to be is, I think, pretty low. I would say pretty gosh darn low. They're gonna silence my board right now, and I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna bawl my eyes out when they do it. But that'll be fine. Topier Druid is definitely not very good right now, though. Again, it's just too slow. Other decks are extremely fast. Hydrolodon's interesting, but... We're just gonna do this and get two 4-4s for this. What was I gonna say? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I just don't think it's very good. Like, if you do play an aggro deck, it'll get run down. And I feel like other, like, value decks, 
might have more value. But I don't know. I think Topier Druid's decent. I think it's fine. But I, I wouldn't say that it's good. I don't. Oh, I guess you said. No, you said good. I don't think it was. I, I don't think I'd call it good. No. Why? Interesting. Do I just ignore it and play a minion and say screw it? I don't care. Oh, you didn't stop it. What? You're gonna stop a spell? Let's go full face here then. Force them to respond. We'll probably play Spirit Poacher, Wild Spirits next turn after my board gets wiped here. No, we can't play Wild Spirits because it's not gonna die, but we can still kill stuff off. It'll be fine. Cannibalize? Are you kidding? That's crazy. Kill that off so close. I mean, on the bright side, if they ever want to wipe my board, it's going to be very difficult. But on the downside... I don't know. I feel like sending 7 damage into that 4-6 or 4-7 is literally just admitting defeat. If I send minions into that, I'm just going to lose. So I gotta go Agrimar and go for 15 damage on him. Our gift of the fair. Rude, but fair. It's all in your head. Kills my 3-3, okay. I dropped something, my bad. Uh, five damage, I guess. I guess we can kill that off if we go for five. Which I think is probably better, actually, because I have two wild spirits in my hand, which I want to play. Hydrolid on next turn, and then spirit poacher, double wild spirit, probably. So that way other decks like that are cool like this have the potential to thrive. Oh, are you gonna just kill off both? Wait, what? Destinate pop? Clean the scene? Oh I'm I get a 2-1 and a 4-4 four, four left though, which is pretty good. Do I wanna go Hydralodon now? Or Spirit Poacher, Wild Spirit. I feel like Hydralodon has other times it can be good. Boom. Boom, to play around removal a little bit more, go full face. We got a death rattle. We got a dormant minion, and we get to go full face here. It's close. It's close. We got a death rattle. I guess it could have been Hydra lit on too. That would have also played around removal pretty well, but I wanted to save Hydralodon to deal with something else if they play like their legendary minion or whatever, or their titan minion. But maybe I overestimated how good that would be. No, they're just gonna concede, thank goodness. I think Hydralodon would have been a bit better, but it's okay.